Ever wondered how raccoons, those agile and crafty creatures of the night, continue to thrive in such diverse environments? Their success lies not just in their adaptability, but also in their intriguing reproductive process. Understanding wildlife reproduction is crucial as it offers insights into the survival strategies of different species and helps us devise effective conservation measures. So, let's turn our attention to raccoons, those masked marauders that rummage through our garbage cans at night. They're not just sly and intelligent, but also have a fascinating reproductive life. You see, raccoons follow a distinct annual mating cycle, and their courtship rituals are nothing short of a dance, a dance of life and continuation. Raccoon reproduction is a complex process involving various stages from mating to birth, each with its unique characteristics and challenges. And it's not just about producing offspring, but also about nurturing and raising them to become strong, independent creatures. Today we delve into the fascinating world of raccoon reproduction, which is as intriguing as the creatures themselves. For raccoons, the romantic season typically starts in late winter, around January or February. This is a time of change for these nocturnal creatures, a shift from their usual solitary existence to a more social period filled with interactions and engagements. Raccoons, as you may know, are primarily solitary animals. They spend most of their lives in their own territories, avoiding unnecessary interactions with others. But as the mating season begins, their behavior changes dramatically. The males, driven by an instinctive need to reproduce, start to venture out of their territories and roam around in search of females. The mating season is a time of fierce competition among male raccoons. They don't just wander around aimlessly, they're on a mission. They're establishing territories, marking their presence with scent markings, and doing all they can to attract the attention of potential mates. But it's not just about making their presence known, it's also about proving their worth, demonstrating their strength and virility. Fights between competing males are common during this time, as they vie for the chance to mate with the available females. On the other side of the equation, the females, who are usually quite elusive, become more visible during the mating season. They're receptive to the advances of males, but they're also choosy. They don't just mate with any male who happens to pass by. Instead, they're looking for the strongest, the most dominant, the one who has the best chance of fathering healthy offspring. The mating season is a time of heightened activity and tension for raccoons. It's a time when their normally quiet, solitary lives are turned upside down by the urge to reproduce. It's a time of competition, of fights and challenges, of victories and defeats. But it's also a time of connection, of pairing and bonding, of creating the next generation of these fascinating creatures. As the season progresses, the competition intensifies, setting the stage for a fascinating spectacle of nature. Once a male has won over a female, the courtship dance begins. In the world of raccoons, love is not as simple as it might seem. The courtship process is an intricate dance, a fascinating spectacle of nature that combines both competition and choice. It's a delicate balance where the male must prove his worth and the female must make her selection. The male raccoon's courtship begins with a display of strength, agility, and resourcefulness. He'll show off his skills, climbing trees with ease, demonstrating his ability to provide and protect. He may also bring gifts of food, a clear sign of his potential as a provider. But the female raccoon is not easily swayed. She's discerning, careful in her selection. She watches, evaluates, and only when she's convinced of the male's worth does she allow him to approach. The female raccoon's choice is critical. After all, she's not just choosing a mate, she's choosing the father of her future offspring. This courtship dance is not a mere spectacle. It's an essential part of raccoon reproduction. It ensures the strongest, most capable males pass on their genes, helping the raccoon population thrive. It's a process honed by millions of years of evolution, a process that ensures the survival of the species. As the courtship dance reaches its climax, the male and female raccoon become more intimate. They'll spend more time together, grooming each other, sharing food and strengthening their bond. This period of closeness allows the pair to establish a strong connection, a necessary foundation for the challenges that lie ahead. And then, when the time is right, when the bond is strong and the female is ready, the courtship dance reaches its natural conclusion. The male and female mate, a moment that marks the beginning of a new chapter in their lives. 
After a successful courtship, the pair mates marking the next phase in the raccoon reproduction cycle. Following successful mating, the female raccoon enters a gestation period lasting about 63 to 65 days. This period is a remarkable time of transformation and preparation as the mother-to-be gets ready to bring new life into the world. During this time, the female raccoon's body undergoes significant changes as it gears up to nurture and protect the developing embryos. Her body knows it has a critical job to do and it adjusts accordingly, providing the necessary nutrients and creating a safe environment for the unborn kids. Meanwhile, the expectant mother is not idle. She busies herself preparing a den, her future nursery, for her offspring. This is not a hasty affair. She chooses her nest site with great care. It needs to be safe, warm, and well hidden from potential predators. She might select a hollow tree, an abandoned burrow, or even a cozy nook in an attic if she's an urban dweller. Once she has picked the perfect den, she lines it with leaves and other soft materials to make it as comfortable as possible for her soon-to-arrive kits. She also ensures she's got easy access to food and water sources, as she'll be spending a lot of time in the den once the kits are born. In addition to den preparation, the mother raccoon also takes good care of herself. She eats well, stocking up on calories to see her through the birth and the nursing period that follows. She might become a bit more reclusive, avoiding potential threats and conserving energy for the task ahead. This period of gestation is a testament to the incredible instincts and adaptability of raccoons. It's a time of anticipation, preparation, and transformation. And when it's over, the result is nothing short of miraculous. At the end of this period, a new generation of raccoons is ready to make its entrance into the world. The culmination of the mating season is the birth of the raccoon kits. A new chapter begins for our furry friends filled with tender moments and crucial lessons. Let's dive into the details of this fascinating process. After a gestation period of about 63 days, the mother raccoon gives birth to a litter of kits. This usually occurs in the safe and secure environment of a den, which the mother meticulously chooses and prepares beforehand. In a single litter, there can be anywhere from two to five kits, each one blind and helpless at birth. The early days of a raccoon kit's life are a testament to the nurturing instincts of the mother. She nurses them, keeps them warm, and protects them from predators. It's a full-time job, and she does it with unwavering dedication. At about three weeks old, the kit's eyes open, introducing them to the world around them. This is also the time when the mother begins to teach them the art of survival. The lessons range from finding food and climbing trees to recognizing danger and even swimming. Yes, raccoons are excellent swimmers. By the time they reach 12 weeks, the kits are ready to venture out of the den with their mother. It's a crucial part of their learning process as they get to apply the lessons they've been taught in the real world. By the end of their first year, the kits have learned all the survival skills they need and they're ready to go out into the world on their own. It's a bittersweet moment for the mother as she watches her offspring take their first steps towards independence. So from birth to the first year of life, the journey of a raccoon kit is a fascinating tale of growth, learning, and survival. And as they grow and start their own families, they carry forward the lessons they've learned just as their mother did. Thus, the cycle of raccoon reproduction continues ensuring the survival of this remarkable species. Raccoon reproduction, as we've seen, is a complex and fascinating process. The mating season, which usually commences in late winter, is marked by an increase in raccoon activity. It is during this time that males travel far and wide, seeking out females with whom to mate. The courtship dance, a unique and somewhat comical display, is an integral part of the mating process. It is an intriguing blend of playful antics and serious intentions showcasing the raccoon's charismatic character. Following successful mating, the gestation period lasts about 63 days. During this time, the female prepares herself for the arrival of her offspring, securing a safe and warm den. Then comes the birth and beyond. The mother raccoon nurtures her offspring, teaching them survival skills until they are ready to venture out into the world on their own. By understanding this process, we gain a deeper appreciation for these extraordinary creatures and the intricate workings of 